think of farming, you think of vast expanses of land occupied by crops at ground level, of course. Now imagine farming in urban areas on rooftops or in skyscrapers. Well, stop imagining. Vertical farming is already here. Joining me now with One Good Idea is Glenn Kurtz, president and CEO of Valcent Products. Glenn, paint a picture of how this works. I mean, we're talking about plants and clear plastic panels moving on conveyor belts overhead. Why? Well, What's the theory behind this? Well, the idea is to bring this back to urban environments. And we have to utilize space better than we've done in the past with conventional farming. By going vertical, we can increase the uh, crop production by about 20 times over conventional farming. Why are they moving around on conveyor belts? I didn't get that part. Uh, it does a couple of things. One, it keeps the plants oriented to light so that they don't grow one-sided. If you've ever had a you know, pot growing in a window sure. or something and you have to turn it, uh, this does it automatically. Plus, it uh, allows us to control the application of the nutrients in one centralized location so that we can conserve the water that goes into the crop. Uh, in a typical production system that we're using, uh, we use about one twentieth the amount of water uh, that's required in field-grown crops. Yeah, we're we're looking at some really interesting video of this right now. Why do we need to do this? Uh, one, we're looking at taking uh, farming back into rural areas so that that we're eating locally grown crops. Right now in the United States, typically an American sits down to have a meal. Some component of that meal has been transported 1,500 miles. And we want to get away from those transportation costs and the carbon emissions that go along with it. Uh, bring the food back. It's a lot healthier if it's locally grown and doesn't have the transportation time. Now, I noticed your company is publicly traded. It's an over-the-counter stock trading for under a dollar, but nonetheless near a 52-week high. What is your plan for the future? Well, uh, hopefully sometime in 2008 we will start moving this product out in a franchise system and get it going in uh, across the United States and other places in the world. Uh, so we have a very active growth uh, program planned over the next uh, 12 to 18 months. Very interesting idea. Glenn Kurtz, thanks so much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. And you can find more details on today's One Good Idea and other Good Idea features on our website. That's CNBC.com. It's right there on the homepage. Yes. Just look for the link that says One Good Idea. Now